Well, this is a difficult question to answer, even in biological parenthood. One can never know in advance of the appearance or the psychological traits of any human being before they're born. The answer to the question also depends on how one defines looking like somebody. Is it just about physical resemblance, whether we have the same color eyes or hair or how tall we are? Or do behaviors come into play? The tone of our voice and how we speak, the way we walk, small mannerisms that are part of our character and social presence. Think, think for example, how many times we have mistaken over the phone a daughter for a mother or vice versa, just because they sound so similar. This is the debate of nature versus nurture. How much of what we become is defined solely by, the, by our genes or is shaped and influenced by our environment? The how, the where, and the when we grow up, our family, our friends, our schooling, our experiences in life. It is a highly researched topic and from my psychology student days, I recall that it comes to about 50-50. Epigenetics, which is the science of how our lifestyle influences the expression of our genes, is becoming increasingly popular. It is also important to consider that with egg donation, the mother may not be sharing a genetic relationship with the embryo, but she has a gestational relationship because she carries and gives birth to her baby. Research suggests that secretions from the mother's womb can influence the development of the embryo. So genetic information is shared from the mother to the baby, not just by genes. When a woman is pregnant, baby cells immigrate to the mother's bloodstream and later they return to the baby. So imagine for 41 weeks, cells move back and forth. And after the baby is born, many of these cells stay in the mother's body for more than 10 years. Isn't that amazing? So pregnancy itself is a very important and meaningful bond between mother and child, regardless of genetic resemblance. Also, something to consider additionally is the fact that there may be a lot of physical resemblance with the father. And finally, I come back to the issue of resemblance that has nothing to do with physical similarity. You will be the parent of that baby, child and adult for a lifetime. The influence of our parents in our lives, of how we are brought up, who we become is huge. Through them, we may develop so many good traits, values and beliefs. And of course, the difficulties and restraints of our parents may also be passed on to the future generations. Generational lineage does not have to do with a phenotype of our genes, but also with a phenotype of our upbringing. It is interesting to think, to think of it in another way as well. Have you ever had a friendly couple who progressively looked and behaved in a similar way as their relationship progressed? They don't share genes, but they share their everyday life. Maybe habits, living environment, values and beliefs, dreams and aspirations. Well, if that happens in couples, imagine what an influence it is in the resemblance of parent and child. <laughs>